Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! You gotta be pumped on that, right? Well, computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, coffee Lake. That's right, I poured coffee in it. System temps are a little hotter than expected. Timmy Joe here. Full on brand new system build. Holy Christmas. This isn't for me though. Coffee Lake in my palms of my hand. Haven't tested it yet. A really nice viewer of the channel. A guy I actually bought this case off of back here for my Ryzen build. He uh, starts watching my videos and uh, apparently likes them. Texts me uh, a couple weeks later. Hey buddy, I got a bunch of stuff you could check out. Apparently he uh, built a couple of systems or parts for a couple systems just to try them out because that's the thing. <laughs> but uh, much to my benefit because uh, he's like, hey, I got a Silverstone case, uh, RL06 you can check out. Apparently nice case. I got a couple things you can come over to my house and just check them out. We'll see if you want to review any of them or whatever. So I show up there and Coffee Lake 8600 6 core Core i5 to test we got some boom team group memory 3200 speed probably the coolest rgb memory i've ever seen and it matches the motherboard which is the gigabyte aorus third time i've been uh you know i've been using this thing i got one of them in my uh my ryzen build behind me the aorus gaming 7 it's x370 well this is z370 or in canada we say Z. Anyways, uh, we got an A Data M.2 SSD, 850 watt power supply, the Corsair uh, H100 IV2, which we just reviewed. Links right here. Uh, just some case fans, just everything we need but a GPU to test. But I'm fine with that. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and fire my 980 Ti, which I just reviewed on uh, this guy's, like, I guess, step stepbrother. <laughs> Uh, core uh, i7-7740X, the X299 uh, 4 core 8 thread, the most useless CPU ever. I didn't buy it. Anyways, I have the data for that. I want to see, is Coffee Lake any better? Is 6 physical cores better than 8 theoretical, or 4 theoretical, or whatever, <laughs> 4 threads, uh, uh, in addition to 4 core, 8 threads in total. I don't, yeah. We're going to test it out. We're going to overclock the snot out of this because that's what we do here on this channel. And I was given permission to do a little system build and it should be fun. And I'm really, really digging the orange and black theme. So cue up some sexy uh, build vlog video, whatever. We'll put her all together to some fancy music like I always do. Overclock the snot out of it and just have a grand old time here on the Timmy Joe channel, just a, a new system built. Haven't done that, uh, well, I guess I have done that sort of recently, but a completely new platform that I haven't played with yet. Should be fun. So instead of holding this Core i5 8600K, I'm gonna put it in the motherboard so I don't break it. Cue it up, Timmy Joe, let's get this uh, cool song. Yeah, that's a cool song. Get that cool song started, and we'll do a brand new Coffee Lake build. And watch out for the temps. <sighs>
We got the system all built. She's beautiful. I love it. I like this uh, whole little system here, actually. This is a perfect gaming PC in 2018. If you don't do anything else and you just maybe do a little bit of streaming, do a little bit of uh, whatever, th this is a very attractive platform. It performs freaking awesome. And had this been KB Lake, the six cores and the six cores with hyper threading to equal. 12 threads and the i3 being four cores uh, had that been kb like ryzen wouldn't have gained attraction that uh it did but intel was stagnant and they were just putting the same thing out over and over again i have a kb lake chip this core i5 performs better than my kb lake x and we'll we'll see that let's go ahead and check out the performance but real quick stunning little pc this case offers ridiculously good airflow. We'll get into it in a second. Uh, lots of RGB and crap inside, but it's understated until the lights go out. And then you have a little bit of a, it's a really dark panel. So you have a little bit of light show, but it's all self-contained. Little RGB, literally RG, red, green, blue. Fans in the front, they're not like addressable or anything like that. They're just colored fans. And uh, I worked with what I had and the 980 Ti. Works out perfectly in it. A very nice little gaming PC. So, Cinebench, you're uh, uh, probably looking for a little result here. Let's run it. 5.2 gigahertz. Six cores. It's, it's pretty astounding. No D-Lid. I had to D-Lid. Well, I could do it with my, uh, my KB Lake X chip, but eh, you know what? This is uh, kind of the same deal. I would D-Lid this if this was my personal CPU because it would probably do 5.3, no problem, 5.4. But uh, with the uh, 1.43 volts, pretty high, and this uh, H100 self-contained, very, very good, 1288. Uh, I've seen closer to 1299. I was hoping to hit 1300, but uh, it's a little bit yeah. Here, we'll, uh, we'll see how she runs, and then we'll check out the thermals, because uh, I'm sure you'd be interested in that. Really nice big AIO on this thing and uh it's keeping everything nice and cool in there and uh yeah i really like this case it just blows air right through the rad and uh, you know if you had an air cooler in there it might be a different story because there's a lot of open up this up here but uh yeah let's see here oh man 1294 so close let's just uh we'll open up hardware monitor we'll run it one more time just to kind of see where the the temps are at because people will be interested now i would run this at five gigahertz all day long we see here the temperatures are, are very contained actually we uh might get up into the 70s but at 5.2 gigahertz the other things are getting warm in here and although this is a very good motherboard and it'll, it will handle it all right uh i would personally rather have it at five gigahertz and have that like 1280 cinebench score and you know maybe 1250 and still be beating my KB Lake X in an extreme situation, my 7740X. So we see here, uh, you know, we could quickly get the temperatures down, but uh, and the CPU, the package never went above 70. That's that's really good, 70 volts, some pretty high voltages though. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty astounding little, uh, no hyper threading system. The six cores do very, very well, and six physical cores do better then four physical cores, eight logical cores in the uh, 7740X. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down because I don't need it anymore. And it's really loud, as I'm sure you, you'll hear it shut off. But uh, switch her back here. Uh, this is my YouTube video of when... Ooh, I can hear again. We had her, we had her cranked for the, the video at 5.2 gigahertz, but you know, as you see, doing pretty well. Uh, this is my video of me overclocking the 7740X at minus 20 in my garage at 5.6 gigahertz. And the best Cinebench score I could get was 1210. That around 1200, even at 5.4 gigahertz is a where, where you typically see it. So this is doing almost a hundred points better with two less logical cores which is pretty dang amazing so uh yeah kudos to them and i really like 
You know, uh, in, Intel, I really like Intel CPUs. If I'm going to be gaming on a, a CPU, I like it to be Intel. But if I'm going to be video editing, my Ryzen will beat it out because uh, even though this has six cores, the, uh, you know, eight times two, uh, you know, the 16 threads in my Ryzen PC will allow me to stream, video edit, uh, have to Photoshop 12,000 Chrome browsers open and still be, you know, have enough uh, to, to do a couple other things and it never chugs down. I think the six cores in this, eh, you'd want the hyper threading if you were doing any sort of streaming or production work, but I, it could get it done for sure. You just might have to close a few things here and there, or maybe in a couple years. Right now, it's, it's probably okay. So what do we got for a price on this build? Well, uh, assuming you picked up a 980 Ti for $500, that's uh, going to be where we, uh, you know, the, the, the one thing, the, the GPU, they're very hard to find. It might get better in the next couple months. Uh, I'm hopeful that a new release from NVIDIA and uh, the fact that cryptocurrency just took like another dive will we'll equal some GPUs out on the market. But, uh, you know, if we get over here, 1588.52. That's the, uh, you know, 200, what's uh, 234.99 for this amazing six core processor that's better than the $400 version, uh, you know, from last year, the 7700, uh, the i7, and it's just cheaper. So we've, we, we're, we're, go we're getting somewhere with Intel at least. The, you know, the mid range has become like last year's high end. It's, it's pretty good. And then uh, I've got a Corsair, uh, you know, liquid cooler, 100 bucks, gigabyte motherboards, expensive one, uh, 225. That uh, insane RAM is pretty expensive, about 200 bucks for 16 gigs of it at 3200. We've got an 888 uh, M.2 SSD. My, I uh, put my card in there, the Silverstone uh, Redline or RL06 is what this is. And it has an 850 watt power supply in it, but it doesn't need it. So if you did, you know, a little bit of, uh, you know, used hunting and, you know, if you, even if you bought this case, the case of only being sixty six ninety nine, you could probably get this thing down to like fourteen hundred dollars with the nine eighty Ti in it, or you know maybe a, a ten sixty or a used like I don't know nine eighty or I don't know whatever you're gonna buy uh, in a GPU department. That's up to you, but uh, it's not a bad you know price to performance there. Seeing as this will play, you know, um, uh, especially with a good GPU in it pretty much anything under the sun at max graphics. Uh, so what I did was I did some gaming benchmarks, you know, as one does. And uh, we'll, we'll check out Firestrike here. Um, we're always interested in Firestrike. So this here would be my 7740X, the best score I've ever uh, done with the 980 Ti in it. And it did 18,500, uh, 18,502 with a uh, physics score of 15, 951 and then we're gonna boom this is the uh, 8600k 1600 so it is better than the i7 that's awesome that's be it's better than four cores with hyper threading uh which is uh, saying something now that's at five gigahertz i test things overclock to the nines uh, with the highest performance that's the way it works not really sure how you know it would work if we put them in stock but it seems like this you know does a pretty good job regardless and as long as you know you know can alter four settings in the motherboard or three settings you can get to five gigahertz fairly easy with a decent cooler probably even like just a big air cooler uh if, if i'm honest as long as you have the right case so it's doing really well there let's go ahead and check out some gaming benchmarks and i'll just kind of talk over them um i was expecting maybe to have some notable difference here see here um we've got tomb raider up on the screen Tomb Raider uh, is like within margin of error. So is uh, Witcher 3. So is uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Like they're pretty much identical. And if I could run the exact same as I always, I don't do the, uh, when I'm doing these benchmarks, I always run through the same parts of games, but things are going to change a little bit here and there. And who knows if windows is running something in the background, like an update or thinking about something, it could change an FPS or here or two there. Well, the fact that these are all within like three FPS and the 1% lows are pretty close as well. So, uh, coffee, Lake, the, if you're just a gamer, man, this is the CPU to get hundred percent. Uh, and you can even do, like, everything else on it. 
Yeah, but don't expect the future proofness to last much, you no, know, too, too long with only six logical cores because eventually, uh, you know, things will start taking advantage of the 8, 16, you know, we've got Threadripper with 32, you know, the games are going to start taking advantage of a lot of cores. So, uh, you know, our programs and in the year 2020, is this going to be, you know, j just as good or just as fast probably, but beyond that, I can't tell you so i'm at watch timmy joe instagram and twitter i think this is a beautiful build i want to thank the dude that uh lent me all this stuff uh here in my hometown i like it's so nice to see uh you know people help you out in your community and kind of go along with uh helping you and you know i did a little bit of work for him put together a system he might try and sell this or whatever or do whatever he's got to do but uh you know some pretty cool stuff and uh, uh also if you have any cool hardware lots of people have been doing that lately check this out I'll let you guess what these are. A couple of 8800s. Uh, really good 8800 Ultras. And we're going to put them in SLI in a cool other board. Stuff like that from the community helps me out. Guy dropped this off, kind of said hello, checked out the studio and stuff. Really nice. And uh, so watch out for that. And if you have something you want to donate to me, me at timmyjoe.com. Uh, and, you know, you could like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. But we're almost at 40,000 subscribers. It'll happen probably by the time this video is posted. So thanks very much, guys, for being so damn cool on this channel and i'm here to overclock the snot out of things and uh do little builds lots of stuff coming up i still got a titan to review i still got to do uh you know some action well i got a whole board of stuff over there to get to so i better shut up and get to it so i'll see you guys in another build this uh coffee like totally buy it if uh you're, you have the money to spend on it this is the gaming cpu you were looking for r2 <laughs>